All right, Shalom. I'd like to say all praises due to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakakadash, and double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to all you brothers teaching in truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of the globe, underneath the standard and the banner of Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai. Okay, and this is a uh, uh, Tyler Yoff, GMS Boston. You know, it, uh, <coughs> Lucky, and um, hey man, I, I watched that that little uh, history channel segment, okay, and the uh, doomsday ten ways the earth will be. I think it's the uh, destroyed. I think that's what I seen. Uh, I can't remember the title. But definitely, uh, I watched it, you know, and, um, <clears throat> hey, some key things in that, uh, that show, and I'm pretty much sure that, uh, a lot of brothers had, uh, many different scriptures, probably some of the same, but it goes to show that, uh, everybody in Great Millstones underneath one accord, man, okay? And that's through the spirit, okay? Whether the elder said, brother should check it out, or, you know, you've seen another uh, elder, uh, up-and-coming elder saying, check it out. But it pretty much puts us all in the same mind frame, all right? That this nuclear annihilation was spoken of through the Holy Scriptures, first and foremost, okay? So put that in your pipe and smoke it you you scoffers man okay that's why y'all can't get right because y'all not y'all not on one accord y'all don't listen to the word of the heavenly father y'all hear it but y'all don't listen to it all right so you know my take on that and uh we see what's going on here in babylon the great man okay we know that this is uh this destruction it's coming, man. All right. We know why they do uh, all these missile tests. We know why they uh, constantly uh, 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 making these new these new weapons of destruction. Okay. Russia being the main catalyst. Okay. Whose flag is a a hammer in a sickle. Okay. And also, when it's spoken of in Ezekiel, the 38th chapter, all right, we know what uh, uh, Gog and Magog is going to be up to, all right? And it's evident now, all right? So, in the show, one of the things that... uh. And it's a lot of things that grab my attention, but I just want to speak on this one. Uh, going down in the bunkers, man. All right. And what you see on my screen is Revelation 6 and 16. All right. And it says, I start at 15. I start at 14. Okay. Revelation 6 and 14. And the heavens departed as a scroll when it is rolled together. And every mountain and island were moved out of their place. Okay. And the kings of the earth and the great men and the rich men and the chief captains and the mighty men and every bondman and every free man hid themselves in the dens and in the rocks of the mountains. All right. And lo and behold, on that show, that was one of the things. Okay, Midland America. It showed people running for their uh, expensive uh, bunker units underground. Okay. Unbeknownst to them that if they turned this missile silo into an apartment complex underground for 70 uh, 
plus people, all right, it is going to be targeted, all right, by one of these missiles because it is technically a silo, all right? And one of the bombs that it showed was a ground, uh, I forget what the man called it, but it's like the bunker busters that they were using in Iraq, okay? But this one has a warhead in it, okay? And that warhead is going to detonate underneath the earth and smash that bunker to pieces, okay? So, really, there is no escape from the heavenly, the judgment of the heavenly father, Salaki, all right? Which his name is Yahweh, well, Yahweh Shai, and his son, okay, Yahweh Shai. Because when you look at it, look at it all man this this thing was designed from the beginning the beginning of the earth okay by the lord and those missiles those missiles are his uh are his army okay that's what people don't understand let me get that scripture real quick Um, so let me get this. All right. I think I remember where it is. What's fuck you? I need the dark scenes of the most high, man. Okay. Only the, the men of the Lord that was taught by wise counsel. All right are able to uh, bring this forth, man, through the spirit and the power of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, man, okay? <clears throat> it says, uh, this is Jeremiah 50 and 24 started there, all right? Because, like I said, this is this was written from the beginning, and it's the work of the Lord. All right. So he said, "I have laid a snare for thee, and thou art also taken, O Babylon, and thou was not aware. Thou art found and also caught, because thou hast striven against the Lord. The Lord hath opened his armory, okay, and hath brought forth the weapons of his indignation." For this is the work of the Lord, Yahweh of hosts, okay, in the land of the Chaldeans, okay. So that's telling you right there that these these missiles are the work of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, okay, from the beginning, okay. The Lord said He knew thee before. You came out of your mother's womb, all right? So he knew that that devil, Von Braun, okay, was going to make that stabilizer. He knew that those men in the Manhattan Project was going to make this, uh, this, this, uh, atom splitting, uh, atom splitting collision into weaponry, okay? Those men that was in Operation uh, uh, Paperclip, okay? So, this this thing's been, been gearing up for a long time, and now it's here, man. Like Elder Taha said, Nobody really started uh, talking about this. And I'm talking about people on the outside that don't know the word of the Heavenly Father. Because the elder apostles, they've been talking about this for 30 plus years, man. Okay. But the ones on the outside, the media, 
They could have brought this forth anytime they wanted. All right, but they didn't do so until January 2020. Okay, because the time is near, man. There's a lot more things coming forth too, but you know, sticking to the topic at hand, so to speak. All right. <clears throat> You know, in that documentary, it's going to be so, man. These people are going to be annihilated by these weapons that the Lord has brought forth, man. Okay, out of his armory. It's going to catch him off guard like he said it would. All right? Just like we've seen in that, in the video. Okay? Of the show. Nuclear War. All right? To unbeknownst to everybody in America, the third world war is going to kick off. Okay. And, hey, we out here prophesying it, man. Okay. And you people still don't get the gist of it. And that's what that's where the Lord is going to get you. All right. That's where He's going to get you with your pants down, so to speak. Okay. Moving forward, let me get this scripture right here real quick. Um, because people think that this is going to be it for for everybody in the world all right and we know otherwise all right when you read uh Jeremiah 16 and 16. <clears throat> this is why this scripture was written right here. It says, Behold, I will send for many fishes, said the Lord, and they shall fish them. And after will I send for many hunters, and they shall hunt them from every mountain and from every hill and out of the holes of the rocks. Okay? Because in other countries, you know, everybody here in Babylon, the great is going to be destroyed. Thus said the Bible. Okay, the Lord said he's going to make this place a desolate wasteland. He's going to make it a desert. Okay. And from that show, it, it, it says it's going to be hotter than the than the core of the sun when the nuclear missile goes off. Okay. And as the one guy was describing, he didn't say it's going to be power, one explosion here, one explosion, you know, next boom, boom, boom like that. No, he said it's going to be succession. It's going to be. Like a machine gun going off when those missiles come down out of the heavens on this place, man. It's going to burn every square inch of America, man. Okay? And that's what's promised, man. That's promised to you by the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. Okay? That is, that's his indignation for this place. That's, that's his judgment for this place, man. Okay, I'm out doing deliveries last night and I see uh uh two two homosexuals frolicking in the in the park, okay? Walking and talking like they were the average couple, a man and a woman, and it looked it terrible, man. When you had a a, a fine young uh 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 Elamite Right behind them. No man. Okay. This, this place is madness, man. Madness. And that's why the Lord is going to destroy this place in such fashion, man. But mainly because they put their hands on the children of the Most High, man. The Israelites. For all the folly that is, is um, wreaking on the rest of the world, man. This place is out of here, man. It's out of here. Okay. So right this this scripture right here, Jeremiah uh 16 and 16, those those elite that run off to those other countries and get in those bunkers, right? Once the elect of the nation of Israel get beamed up in those chariots that's coming during the same time that this um destruction is happening. 
that you've seen on the uh, on the show, because it says the righteous shall scarcely be saved, man. All right, and that's what you're gonna see. All right, those that's heavy in the faith, man, you're gonna be delivered during that during that time, man. Okay. And then when you turn to Revelations, uh, the 15th chapter, I believe, okay? Then you're going to watch this place get destroyed, okay? And you're going to see, as it were, a sea of fire mingled with glass, okay? And that's all coming, man. It's, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. That show was was for the, it was a spirit booster, man. That's what that show was, man. To tell you the truth. Because everything matched up with the scriptures. Everything. Alright? So many scriptures, man, that ran through your head. It's just like getting plugged in like Neo in the Matrix, man. Okay? Once you started watching that, then you your, your faith is reassured even more, man. Jake, we love visual, man. Visuals is is where it's at when you're trying to learn something, man. And that's what that show was, man. So that show was uh, brought to you through the spirit and power of your how about Shem Shai, man, to couple it with these scriptures. All right, you're not gonna be escaping Esau, Edom. All right. Okay, you're gonna have to serve. You're gonna have to serve your slavery, man. That's what's gonna have to happen. You're going to pay for what you did. All right. Some of y'all might get annihilated over here because y'all are wicked. That's plain and, and despicable. But the Lord got a righteous uh, judgment coming to y'all. That to you, Esau, Edom, or you Edomites. Okay. That survived this. Uh, this nuclear attack on America, all right? And elsewhere, if you survive it, man, you're going into slavery, man. Them chains are going to be put on to you, okay? Just like it says right here. Let me get it real quick. Salaki Brothers. This is Psalm 149 and 8. I'll start from 7. Psalms 149 and 7. To execute vengeance upon the heathen and punishment upon the people. To bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron. To execute upon them the judgment written. This honor have all his saints. Praise ye the Lord. And that's what it's going to boil down to, okay? All you devils that want to escape nuclear destruction, nuclear annihilation, okay? Don't worry. You may have a, uh, a chance to escape just to run into the hands of your captives, man. Who are going to become your captors. <laughs> you know? So that, that that's all I got to say, man. You know, there's so many scriptures on it. You know, I, I didn't really want to make this long video. But like I do, it's always 20 minutes, man. And I don't think I uh, rambled on too much, man. I just stated the facts, man. You know, so with that, I want to say all praises due to Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem Rakakadash, and double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone. Shallow one.